At a recent People's National Party PNP meeting, party president Dr. Peter Phillips made the suggestion of lowering the general consumption tax GCT by two percentage points. Opposition Senator Dr. Andre Houghton raised eyebrows in the Senate on Friday when he stated that this should be carefully considered because it would cost the government about $26 billion. Speaking on RJR's Beyond the Headlines Monday with host Dion Jackson Miller, he responded specifically to his views versus those of the PNP. So you did therefore part company on that point from, from the other members of the opposition? Yeah, I remember, you know, when you're looking at economic policy, you know, there are a host of things that you can do with the limited fiscal room you have, you know. So you're looking at, remember that the opposition is not in power, so the opposition cannot make a fiscal policy decision. It has to be the government who makes fiscal policy decisions. So when I was speaking, I was speaking to the opposition itself. I was speaking to the government who said they were considering it. Because remember, you know, the opposition is not in that position. So if and when the opposition goes in that position, then at that particular point in time, we'll come together and decide exactly what we'll do. But remember, now it's just politics back and forth. We're saying and then we're looking at economic policy and then we want to see it done in the best way. Dr. Horton gave more reasons to explain that his message was not for the People's National Party president. Remember, tax cuts is like expansionary fiscal policy. And we've always said that when, when you're looking at taxes in the country, then Jamaican tax rate was always too high. Now, last, last election when the government got a fiscal room and they decided to go the route of giving it back to property taxes and so on and so forth, then you know, the opposition is going to look at that and we're going to say, well, it could have been distributed to a broader cross-section of people via DCT. But from where we sit now and we're looking at DCT as a whole, because remind them, Dr. Peter Phillips wouldn't be in a position to implement that now, so I could not be speaking to him. I would have to be speaking to the government now who said that they were taking what he was saying into consideration. Gabrielle Thompson, Frontline News.